fact, the city of Markham has unveiled its new e-scooter pilot program. The two-month program is now in operation, but it comes after other cities have dealt with problems related to e-scooters. Toronto, for instance, still bans them. Chris Glover has more. Markham is officially launching its e-scooter pilot program. It'll be two months, about 100 of these e-scooters. People will have to download the Scooty app in order to use it. To unlock a bike, it costs $1.15 and then $0.35 cents a minute after that. And they're pretty easy to use. You just kick off here like a skateboard and then pull the trigger a little bit and you can get going. The company Scooty has been uh, in operation since 2019, a part of a couple other municipalities as well. They were part of Barry pilot program earlier this year and then Brampton's last year. Here's the mayor of Markham talking about why these e-scooters are so important for Markham's transit network. I saw you uh, kind of laughing and having a good time there. <laughs> have you have you ridden one of these before? No, and how was your ride? this is the first time on an electrical bike and uh, I want to try this scooter later after you guys have left <laughs> in case there's uh, you know one of those moments but uh, both the scooters and the bikes I give it gives people uh, of all ages the opportunity to use this technology. As exciting as this day is for you, there have been safety concerns, especially around the e-scooters. They're currently still banned in the city of Toronto. So how are you so confident that this is going to be a safe thing for the city? Well, I, I think uh, first and foremost, that's why we're doing this demonstration. It's about using, you know, technology. I'll, I'll say electric bikes and scooters have been around for a while. But what's interesting is that these uh, bikes and scooters, they're actually geofenced. So you can't use them outside of the Markham Centre area. So the mindset, I think, is a little different. Safety is obviously the controversial piece of all of this. In Markham, the e-scooters have been capped at 20 kilometres an hour to address the safety piece. You also heard the mayor there talking about geofencing, and that means these can be disabled if they go places that they're not allowed to or not supposed to. Here's more from the company talking about how that geofencing works. Within five to six seconds, the IOT in our uh, vehicle detects that you're in a no riding zone and it comes to a slow stop and it starts to beep, 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 beep. So then you will see a notification on your app that you're in a no riding zone. And you know, five to six to, you know, five, six seconds is not a lot of time. Uh, is, is enough time where you haven't gone so far, you can quickly turn back and go to a riding zone. So Brampton is in the second year of its pilot program. Brampton says in its first year, 110,000 riders took part in their program. They called it a success, but it certainly dealt with some problems as well. They were worried about safety, just like folks here in Markham have been. And the other issue was people leaving them kind of haphazardly on private property and in places that they should have been. All people had to do was lock them up with these little locks on the side of the e-scooter. So that has now been changed in Brampton for this year and here in Markham. Instead, people will have to come to these designated mats. There will be 11 of them here in Markham that people will have to take their e-scooters to so that they're left in an appropriate place. And oftentimes they're going to be close to transit like this bus stop that's here. From an operational perspective, if you have scooters lying all over, all over the place, it becomes a bit of a management problem, operations, operational issue. But when we have vehicles at de designated locations, pick up and drop up points, not only are they organized, but it also makes it easy for our operations team to manage maintenance and things like that, rebalancing for these vehicles. So when people drop off their e-scooter in one of these zones, these parking zones, do they need to uh, lock them up? to something in there or do they just park and go? If there's a bike rack available, they should lock it to um, you know that infrastructure, but if it's not available, they should leave it in a neat and orderly manner. And all of this is a priority for the provincial government as well. In January of 2020, they launched a five-year pilot program for e-scooters for municipalities to develop regulations and to launch these pilot programs. And for Markham, the provincial government gave $2.5 million to support its program. And of course, if all these pilots go well, then you could see these e-scooters permanently in a city near you in Ontario. Chris Glover, CBC News, Markham.